Today we're going to be talking about an activity that you should be doing in Albion Online every single week and checking weekly. And to jump right in, we're talking about the Conquerors Challenge. So if I open up the Conquerors Challenge, we are currently in Season 19. Typically, a season lasts for 90 days, and they are connected to guild activities and different types of open world activities that you can do to progress this. First thing you need to know about this is you do need premium to work on the season rewards as well as claim the chest. I know here it doesn't say that you need premium, but it's deceptive. As soon as you get to the 20k mark, it's going to say here, get premium to unlock the chest. So this is a premium activity to be able to get this. But if you do have premium, this is one of the weekly rewards that you need to be working on every single week. I haven't finished my chest yet, but the next reward starts in two days and 16 hours. So if I don't finish this chest by this time period, this progress is going to stay, but the seven week timer is going to reset. So I want to finish this before this timer is up so that when this resets, there's a new chest available for me. Now, why would you want to get this chest? There is silver bags as well as different rewards that you can get inside of it, such as items to sell, as well as there is a chance to drop a baby mammoth. Now, the chance is very small, but you do have a chance to get a baby mammoth in here. So those right now at the current time of this video are worth around 170 mil. So me personally, I want to get this done every week because I like the chance of getting that as well as the silver bags that come out of it. Sometimes you get anywhere between 200 to 600 K out of this chest just in silver bags alone. On top of that, when you are farming for this chest, you're going to be unlocking favor tokens. Tokens. And the energy manipulator is a shop that is a place to spend that these favor points that you get. So we have Elder Tomes of Insight, Conqueror's Chest, and Siphon Energy. Conqueror's Chest are the tier 7 version of the weekly chest. So there is not a chance to get a mammoth in here, but you can get silver bags. You can get items that drop. You can also get tomes, like the Tomes of Insight, tier 7. You can even get some tier 8 in here. But most of the time, you're going to be getting tier 7 or 6 Tomes of Insight in here. If you are only going for fame, you can use 2,000 tokens to buy Elder Tomes of Insight. Uh, do keep in mind that the Conqueror's Challenge is a black zone activity. So we're talking about Outlands, we're talking about Roads, we're talking about Lethal Mists. All of the black zone activities, not red zone. Red zone does not work on your might. It has to be the black zone lethal zones. And this is the places that you go to work on might. And there's different activities you can do, such as just PvE in the Outlands and Roads. You can open treasures such as small chests and medium chests. You can kill Siphon Mages, Crystal Spiders. We have Hellgates, Crystal Leagues. You have winning Corrupted Dungeons and capturing Power Cores and energy crystals. So when it comes to your guild that you join, currently we're not in season, so I can't actually show the interface that shows the bonuses. But as your guild progresses in different types of seasonal activities, such as PvE in the Outlands, Corrupted Dungeons, Gathering in the Black Zone, there's tons of different activities you can do by killing the Siphon Mages that will progress the guild. And what happens when the guild levels up is it will give you more favor points and might percentages. So you can actually level this up faster as well as work on your seasonal rewards faster. And when it comes to these seasonal rewards, Rewards. If I go all the way to the right, first off, there's battle mounts that you can unlock. So you, that's a couple mil here and there. Of course, the price is going to drop later because once the season is over, everyone's going to get that battle mount. So if you do get it, I highly recommend holding on to it for later. If you are playing down the line and you are planning on selling it, don't sell it right away. You're going to get the least amount of money possible. Just save it for a couple months down the line when it's in more demand and sell it then. We also have the Elder's Night Vow, which is the most upgraded version of the fame bonus. So you get a combat and gathering fame increased by 10%, and this will last for 90 days. So this is another reason why you would want to work on this only 430k might to get that unlocked i know that's kind of a lot but if you do want a way to level up your might the fastest as a solo player and might be the fastest in general here in albion online is i have a video on my youtube channel covering the activities that you could do in the mists that came with the beyond the veil update that place is 100 one of the best places to level up your might and get this conqueror's challenge done because turning in the weekend wists and the different activities in there i talk about in the other video can get this conqueror challenge done easily as well as progress your seasonal rewards and there's there is a duo miss that you could do with a partner as well if you do not want to go into the solo. Just be very aware that a lot of the duo builds that are in there are going to be, they have a lot of weird one-shot builds. As well as in the solo miss, especially on Albion West at the moment, there is tons of 8-3, 8-4 juicers just absolutely everywhere and just stomping objectives. So just be very careful when you see objectives. Kind of run in with your mount, check it a little bit. If you see it right on the end of your screen, be careful. A lot of them are just waiting to pounce and get you dismounted. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a clown fest in there right now when it comes to how many juiced up builds are in there but on that note you can still farm in there you can clear camps and do different objectives i talk about in the video again but i just want to give you that warning because that is something that we're currently dealing with here in albion online and we're always going to be dealing with it in this game there's always going to be tons of people that are higher ip than you out in the lethal zones you just got to be careful with especially if you're only just trying to get this challenge done and then get back to the regular activities that you're doing but that's going to be it for the video guys i just wanted to keep it nice and short and just keep you guys informed on something that you should be working on weekly as the rewards are amazing and it can help add to your fun pool as you move forward and building your economy 
here in Albion Online. I wanted to keep the video nice and short just so we wouldn't get crazy, have like a 30 plus minute video going over every single little thing because again, at the end of the day, the best way to make might is in the mist. And when it comes to guild activities, the guilds that you join will teach you how to escort cores or do siphon mages and different things like that. If you are trying to find a guild, I have another video on the YouTube channel covering how to find a guild as well as you can join stream squad. There's nothing wrong with that. Feel free to apply on the West server. We are a casual guild. We have almost 300 players and we do constant group activities. We have a lot of people that are active and constantly doing different types of activities, such as grabbing cores, doing small scale static dungeons, group dungeons. We even do Avalonian dungeon clears on Friday. So feel free to join and get involved with that. Other than that, that's gonna be it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned some stuff moving forward in your Albion journey. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see all of you in the next video. And I'll see all of you in Albion online.